What's up boys, today I got you guys a 75 kill gameplay in Nuketown, the new map, and I know you guys are enjoying the new map, and so am I, but I'm bringing you guys this gameplay with the Type 63. I've been having a lot of fun with this gun, and it's been absolutely frying for me, and I don't even have it leveled up all the way, so I knew I had to get this video out to you guys, because honestly, a 75 kill game on Nuketown, like who doesn't want to see that, am I right? Now, if you guys do want to have a Type 63 class setup, I can absolutely do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comments below, and I can set up the best class setup for this bad boy right now. I also do want to see what you guys are using in the game. So let me know what you guys are using in the comments, and I'll be sure to try out what you guys are doing too. Now, we do have December 10th coming up, and we all know what that means. Season 1 for the Call of Duty Cold War, and I think that's really when it's going to determine whether this game's going to be really good or really bad. Warzone really saved the last Call of Duty from being a complete flop, and I'm really hoping Cold Cold War doesn't mess it up with their version of it. The multiplayer does get a little stale here and there on the Cold War, so I am hopping back on Warzone every now and then, and I'm having a lot of fun still. Ever since I got introduced to Fortnite and Battle Royales, I haven't really been able to get off of them. It's kind of my favorite playing to play now. I think this reset of Warzone is pretty huge for the Call of Duty community and the Call of Duty franchise. It's going to be a make or break. In my true opinion, if this flops, I think the only thing that's going to be playable on this Call of Duty is going to be zombies. You can only play multiplayer for so long before it becomes stale and there's nothing else to do in the game. Once you get all your guns gold, level all the way up, get all your camos, like what else really is there to do in multiplayer? And the last Call of Duty's league play wasn't really fun for the pros, and I don't understand how you could say this one's any much better. With all that being said, I think the only problem this game has is really its maps. I really do enjoy using the guns in this game, and if I could take one thing out really, it would just be that score streak should reset after you die. Now when I say all I want for Christmas is a good Cold War Warzone, I really mean it man. I would love to see some of these guns in a good Warzone game. I'm excited to get on a new version of her desk, and if they bring in back old maps like Hijacked, I'm excited to see what the multiplayer can truly be like. Season 1 of this Call of Duty is going to be absolutely huge. From what I'm hearing, there's going to be a lot of changes coming to the game, and if they're bringing back old maps like Hijacked and Summit, I don't think I'm going to get off of it. It truly does feel like we're still playing a beta of this Call of Duty, and I don't think you can judge the whole game until the new seasons come out, because I think they're going to make a lot of changes, and I'm really hoping they are. It does suck to say that I feel like we're playing a beta, but it leaves me with a lot of optimism for Season 1. As far as zombies goes, I think they did a really great job in this Call of Duty with the zombies. I think the exfil was a great idea to add into the game, and I've been having a lot of fun playing the map. I really do wish they would up the weapon XP you earn in the zombies, but other than that, I think they did a great job. I'm looking forward to the new map, and from what I've heard, there might be a remastering of Kino Dur Toten. Honestly, bringing back old maps and zombies is always going to be a W for the community and the franchise. I don't think any of my friends would complain about them bringing back their childhood zombie maps to replay in 2020. And if they are going to bring back old maps, I need a new 5 remastered with current day political candidates. You're telling me you wouldn't want to kill around killing zombies as either Biden or Trump and just slaying out with your boys? I really don't think anyone will complain about that. I'm pretty sure you can get really crafty with all the easter eggs. I do wish they would have added a little bit of more of a storyline in the new zombies map, but they did give us a little background story with the guys you hear on the radio. It's obviously not a huge loss in the game, but it's just not the same as playing as the OGs Dempsey, Nikolai, Masaki, and Rick Tobin. The operator you choose just doesn't have a role in the zombies game, and obviously it's not huge, but I'm just saying I would like to get into the zombies a little bit more and have a little storyline with the easter egg. With that being said, that's really all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like Call of War. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a like. I'm probably live on Twitch as we speak right now, so I'm going to leave that link in the description if you want to go follow on there. I'm live every single day.